When we do have uh, many high quality embryos for transfer, some patients would ask, what should they do? Should we try a single embryo transfer? Should we try a double embryo transfer? What is the option to try to increase as much as possible the pregnancy rate and uh, the evolutive pregnancy rate and having a baby at home? So transferring many embryos or two embryos at the same time might increase a little bit the possibility of a positive pregnancy test but it won't increase the possibility of uh, a baby at home. Seeing that when we transfer two embryos, we do have a higher miscarriage rate. So with a single embryo transfer and a double embryo transfer, we will get exactly the same newborn rate. That's what we want, a healthy baby at home. Uh, of course, when we uh, do a single embryo transfer and we do have the opportunity to freeze uh, another blastocyst or some other blastocyst, if we get a negative pregnancy test, we do have the possibility of a further embryo transfer and to increase the cumulative pregnancy rate. So in the first transfer, we might be at 60% of patients that do get a positive. If they get a negative, the month after the first transfer, we might have the possibility again to get a 60% of positive pregnancy rate, which means that after two cycles, we might already be up to 85% of patients that have had a positive. If we transfer both embryos at the same time, we might get up to 65% of positive, but we will never get up to this 85% that we got with single embryo transfers one per month. So we would strongly recommend to go to single embryo transfer when we do have many high quality blastocysts.